Hey guys, it's Trip Jackson Robotics, and today we'll be showing you the rubber shaft collar of doom, why it causes so much pain, and the steps we took to find this problem and how we fixed it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the problem we were having with our robot was we would be driving forward, and then it would just suddenly just start turning, and it would just randomly do this. Like, so sometimes you'd be driving straight forward, and you'd go, Arr! and you were just driving completely forward, and you're like, what the heck? And so we were very confused, and we were like, we have to get this fixed immediately. So after we found that there was a problem, we went through a couple steps that you guys can use as well to kind of uh, try to fix some problems on your drivetrain or really any part of your bot. So what we did was we first made sure nothing was rubbing on the wheels, making sure the wheels weren't touching the little base here. Um, that way, because if they were rubbing, that could cause them to like not turn as good. And then whenever you're going forward, they'd start, um, it's the robot would start turning. And we didn't find anything. So the next thing we did was we replaced off the motors. Maybe one of them wasn't really working good. Uh, we just replaced the motors. Didn't help either. So then what we did is we replaced the cables on the motors. Maybe there's something wrong there. Didn't help either. And then we looked into the code to see if maybe who our drive type was not the one that we wanted. And we the code was fine and so that was not the problem and then we saw that one of these wheels was shaking kind of weird whenever it was um driving and so we decided to take it down we looked at all the pieces and then we found this rubber shaft collar here um uh, now this rubber shaft collar is kind of destroyed and plastic the little rubber part is kind of shooting out and it must have been rubbing on it the wheel here and causing it to sometimes like fail and so that was so annoying we spent so much time looking for this problem to try to f solve it and we eventually did um and it was this little rubber shaft collar who knew something this little could cause such a big difference so that was such a big relief we finally found it so that was very nice so we kind of what we did was we deduced down we kind of replaced all the parts and try to find what the problem was and you guys can use this too uh to help kind of fix any part of your robot if anything's not working what we first do is we just kind of replace all the parts see what is causing the problem and then we fix the problem and that's what we do for pretty much anything that's not working if we can't find the problem we just take off the parts and replace them until we find what the problem part was and then it's fixed so yeah